Good morning everybody, my name is Teacher Prashant and I welcome you to this video. This video is actually Linear Equation Basics Part 3 and in this video we are going to be learning what is an expression, so stay tuned. Now without wasting our time, let's jump straight to our topic which is expression. Let me give you a simple definition of the term expression, okay? Now expression is basically collection of terms or we can say group of terms differentiated by plus and minus which basically means collection of terms separated by plus and minus sign which gives out an expression so now we know what is an expression collection of terms separated by plus and minus now to learn about expressions let's go do it with some real-time examples as we saw in the definition collection of terms separated or differentiated by plus and minus operators. So let's just start with the collection of terms, okay? So let me write few terms right here. Okay, let's take 4x, okay? And uh, let's take 10y. Let's take a constant. Let's take 20. And let's take another term. Let's take um, x over 2. If you guys are wondering why x over 2 is a term, I have already explained that in my last video so you guys can check it out. And I also want to say that in my last video, I explained what is a term in detail. So if you guys could check that video out, that would help you because it will give you every information you need to understand and differentiate two terms. That's going to be helpful to you when you learn what is an expression. So I would highly recommend you to learn more about what is a term before you learn what is an expression, which I think kind of makes sense. Okay, so now let's go back to the expressions. Okay, so we got a collection of terms right here. So, so we can say that 4x is a term, 10y is a term, 20 is a term, and x over 2 is a term. Now, we are done with the top part of the definition, which is collection of terms. Now, let's move on to the bottom, where it says separated by plus and minus operator. So, let's go separate all those terms by plus and minus operator. So, I'm going to put random minus and random plus, you know. So, as we can see, all these terms are actually separated by plus and minus operators. 4x is a term. 10y is a term and 4x and 10y are actually separated by minus by the minus sign and we can also see that 10y and 20 are also terms and they are separated by plus as the last group we can see is 20 plus x over 2 they are also terms and they are separated by plus operator so we can say that that all these four terms that all these four terms are actually a collection and they are also separated by operators which are plus and minus only keep that in mind that a term can only be separated by the operator plus and minus division which you can see right here x divided by 2 and 4x means 4 multiply x so let me say that one more time multiplication and division cannot separate a term because 4x is still just one term. Multiplication can't separate terms. And x divided by 2, since we have division right here and still it is considered as a term, so that shows that division also cannot separate a term. Now, let's just summarize it really quick. Collection of terms 4x minus 10y plus 20 plus x over 2 is actually an expression because they are terms separated by plus and minus very simple definition and that's what we call an expression now let's go further into the term expression let me just tell you that expressions cannot be solved they can only be simplified I'm gonna tell you exactly why now let me write an expression right here and let me write 2x plus 4 plus 3x minus 10 as I can say that this is an expression and expressions cannot be solved when I say solve, what do I mean? I mean that expressions will never give you a value for an answer. But they can be simplified. 
how they can be simplified. Let's go see. So we see 2x and 3x. So 2x and 3x are basically like terms. So now if you guys don't know what is a like term, like term is a term which has the same variable. So let me write a few more examples so that it is clear for you. Like 3y, 4y, 7y, or 2z, 5z, or 10z, or 4x, 2x, or 6x. As we can see, the first set is like terms because the variable in all the terms are same y, y, and y, z, z, and z, x, x, and x. So we can say 3y, 4y, and 7y are like terms. 2z, 5z, and 10z are like terms. 4x, 2x, and 6x are like terms because they carry the same variable. Now, please keep in mind that the value of coefficient will not decide whether a term is a like term or an unlike term. And like terms can always be added. So 3y plus 4y plus 7y is 14y. 2z plus 5z plus 10z is actually 17z. 4x plus 2x plus 6x is actually 12x. But what if you do something like this? What if you say that 2x plus 4y? Now these two terms cannot be added. Why? Because they are not like terms. They are unlike terms. They are not like terms. Why they are not like terms? Because they don't carry the same variable. As we can see, 2x has a variable as x and 4y has y as its own variable. So they are not even same, so we can't even add them. But unlike terms can always be multiplied, which we are definitely going to learn in the future. Now let's go and simplify this expression right here. So let's just keep the like terms together. So I'm going to write 2x plus 3x minus 10 plus 4. So these are one set of like terms and these are one set of like terms. So what is 2x plus 3x? 2x plus 3x is 5x and minus 10 plus 4 gives out the value of minus 6. Now what is the next step? And um, I have to tell you that that's all we can do. That's all we could do. So as I said, expressions cannot be solved because they cannot give you an answer. And the reason why they can't give you an answer because there is no other expression which represent them on the other side. Simple words, expressions are not balanced. For example, x, what is x? We don't know what is x. What if I say x plus 2? We still don't know what is x. So what about if I say x plus 2 equal 10? So now we know x is 8. See, this is an expression. Expression has nothing to balance itself on, on the other side of the equal to. That's why we can't find the value. But what we can do is simplify them. Simplifying them basically means make them shorter. Now, as you can see, we had two terms x and x and we had two constant terms 10 and 4. What we did is we simplified these two like terms into one term and these two set of like terms into one term. So from four terms we went to two terms. That's called simplification. And that's all we could do because we don't know what represent this expression on the other side which is called equation and equations we're going to be learning in our next video. So as we know Expression cannot be solved, but they can be simplified. Let us summarize the meaning of expression. So, once again, just write uh, a term. I'll write 10x, and I will write uh, 25. I will write 2y, and I'll write one more constant. I'll take 12, because 12 is my favorite number. Separate it by the plus n minus which are also called operators so this is actually a collection of terms and these terms are separated by plus and minus operators which will give out that these set of terms with plus and minus can be called as an expression simple 
So, now we know what is an expression, right? Alright, so as you can see on the screen, these are following examples of expression. So, what is an expression? Let's just recap it really quick before we end this video. Expressions are basically a group of terms separated by plus and minus. So thank you so much for watching and in my next video I'll be talking about equation detailed. Thank you so much and a very goodbye from teacher Prashant. See you guys soon in the next video.